Fall colors, cozy cabins, and outdoor adventures await you in beautiful Hocking Hills. If you're looking for things to do this autumn, Ohio's Crown Jewel has a lot to offer. Executive Director Karen Raymore shares what's coming up this season. Karen, the seasons are about to change. Yes. We're going into fall. A lot of people love fall. What is Hocking Hills like in the fall? It's spectacular is probably not overstating it. Uh, because the area is so heavily forested, we have got phenomenal color. It's just the, the fall colors are breathtaking. And so in addition to the natural beauty that's there year round, you add this incredible palette of, of fall color and pretty and spectacular. And at night you get to see all those beautiful stars, yes. which is something we don't see here in Chicago. We are a dark, a dark night sky area. And we have an astronomy park, the John Glenn uh, Astronomy Park. So they do have programs with a you know high-powered telescope and you could also bring your own but yes the star gazing in the in the evenings is just amazing all right so we got the great fall color we have those beautiful stars so what is there to do in Hocking Hills during the fall well uh, coming up very soon we have the annual glass pumpkin festival at the Jack Pine Studios which it's not just Jack Pine who is a, a world-renowned glass artist but also several other artists that will be part of the festival and there's food trucks and just a, a really good time and that comes up at the end of September. Mm -hmm. So, and then when we get into October, we have m a multiple programs with our state park. The Hocking Hills State Park is the, the main attraction uh -huh. and they will have everything from um, pumpkin carving and decorating things for kids. They've, they usually do some um, haunted hawking hikes. Oh yeah, we have which, to celebrate yeah, gotta Halloween. Have little, gotta have a little haunted in there. Yeah. And then all, also the Grandma Gatewood Fall Color Hike, which is just a beautiful hike from Old Man's Cave to Cedar Falls and back. So it's it's a, a good hike. It's six miles, but it but in the fall colors, it's really gorgeous. Oh yeah, you probably time will probably fly by. You won't yeah. even miss it. All right, since we've already gone to Halloween, let's go all the way there. We got Thanksgiving. We got Christmas. I guess there's more stuff to do, of course. There is, and we actually have an, a fairly new experience that we're offering people for, okay. for anybody who likes to bake. Oh. And we call it a bakecation. Bakecation. And uh, our, our cabins and lodges have got, many have got gourmet kitchens, just counter space that goes forever. And mm. any baker knows that counter space is critical. Oh, yeah. So we put together these kits, and they include everything from a stand mixer to cookie sheets and cookie cutters and recipes and, you know, measuring cups, everything you need to bake. So you can get together with friends, family, bring a group up, and take a, you know, a few days, get away from it all, and mm -hmm. do your holiday baking. Ooh. Just have fun. Again, it's obviously if you're not fun, if you don't find baking fun. <laughs> let somebody else not, do yeah, the work, but just take work. in all the beautiful That's smells right. and the aromas. You can be the taste tester there of the group. Go. Yes. All right, so once it does freeze over and get really cold and the snow is out there, it's still a good time to go to Hocking Hills. Actually, it's one of the best times. Winter is, is first of all, it's very serene. Um, the uh, waterfalls will tend, if it gets cold enough, will, will freeze in like suspended animation. Mm -hmm. And then you get ice beards that cover the cave walls. So it really becomes this um, kind of a serene wonderland. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have, a, of course, an annual event in January. It's the Hocking Hills Winter Hike. So it's a, a six mile hike with, you know, a couple thousand of your closest friends. It's, <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. Um, and they have a stop, you know, midway for people to have some soup and warm up by a fire. And then they bring you by bus back to where your car is parked. So they make it a really fun day. And then after the winter hike in the morning, there is a ice festival in downtown Logan. Aww. So, yeah, you can really make a great weekend of it. And oh, yeah. we always recommend winter because it's such a unique beauty, uh, you know, of the seasons. And... Uh, and it's the time that a lot of people don't think about going there. Right. And it's so close. And it is. It, you know, I grew up just 50 miles south of Chicago. Okay. And first time I saw Hocking Hills, I couldn't believe that I had never heard of it before. Because I grew up six hours away. Okay. It, you know, it is it is really close and it's such an easy drive. It's all interstate. So, you know, uh, really quick trip. And also, if you prefer to fly, there's good air service into Columbus. All right, and you guys provide help for people that are trying to figure out, how do I plan my trip? We do. We have our website, which is explorehockinghills.com. 
but we also have a very good comprehensive visitor's guide that you can request online. You can download it. Uh, or if you like to get like a real life person on the phone, uh -huh. we have them. Whoa! Seven days a week, oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Karen, be we still have, my heart. We have actual <laughs> people that are there. Nothing, we call it authentic intelligence, there not artificial go. intelligence. Authentic <laughs> intelligence, all and, right. Uh, and they're there to help and help you plan and answer questions. Hocking Hills, it's a place we all should see. I Karen, think so. Karen, thank you. Thank you. And of course, we do love authentic mm -hmm. intelligence, yes, right? Yes, we do. Grab your phone and, gra and scan the QR code on your screen for more information. You can also visit explorehockinghills.com or call the number on your screen to start exploring.